disappointment. Nefanio! You spent years trying to fight this war. And for what? Corruption still flourishes in Gotham, lurking in every shadow. You don't need that mask. I know it's you. Rachel Ghoul, you allowed this blasphemy, this sacrilege. Did you think you could keep it from me? Parlotrix will not save Gotham from his reckoning. Not now!
you'll be dead before they get you. Your precious family. I will slaughter them one by one. And when they have drawn their last breaths, I will burn the city to the ground. You won't get a chance. Gotham is their city now. this I'm dead this is a code black this message was automatically triggered when I destroyed the cave and everything it contained I know what's coming won't be easy Gotham's celebrity pages. A handsome, charming billionaire. And he was that. But he was more than a headline. He was my nephew. He was a friend, a mentor, and a benefactor to those of us gathered here today. And to those of you who didn't know him as we did, I want to tell you this. Bruce was Gotham. He loved this city more than he loved anything. He was a protector to this city. He worked tirelessly behind the scenes to bring justice 
and equality. There's nothing he wouldn't do. No project he wouldn't champion if he thought Gotham would benefit. And I think in remembering that, we remember Bruce as he truly was. had my back when I needed you. I know you'll keep Gotham safe. Good luck. And goodbye. You, like your precious Batman, were never able to save Gotham. I finally solved that problem. My father's mind was broken by repeated exposures to the Lazarus Pit. Unlike my father, I used that exposure to free Bruce's mind from his ridiculous oath. And you, you're right where we need you. Bruce's last test. Then we lead our new league into glory. Remaking the world. Defeat this pretender. Take back the city that is your birthright. Bruce. Try out dying for yourself. Couldn't you trust my intel just once? you with the Lazarus Pit. Remember how you brought me back? You have to fight for it this time! Report, Jason. We finished the Langstrom case. All of us, working together. But the Court of Owls is real. You found them. You were bringing in the voice when... <laughs> Come on. We'll both lose our street cred if anyone sees me helping you. <laughs> you don't have to prove yourself to anybody. Least of all, me. Let's go. I can deal with Talia later. What the hell, Bruce? All you had to do was stand still, beloved. 
Let me dispose of this burden for both our sakes. No! <coughs> Please, Bruce. You can't. It's your turn, Jason. I know you won't give up. I should have left you in your grave. For his sake, Talia, I'm not gonna kill you. But this is gonna hurt you a lot more than it will me. So the court lives forever! You want this Lazarus pit? You go through me! Go! Deal with the permit! Without me. Become your own heroes. The knights that Gotham really needed. <coughs> Together you're stronger than the Batman ever could be. I'm so proud of all of you. And I'm sorry. What are you doing? You might want to run. Lazarus pit is gone. Blasted to bits. With the pit destroyed, the Court of Owls has gone to ground. Mostly. It's only a matter of time till they show up again. Talia got the hell out of Dodge. 
laying low somewhere to plan her next move. Of course, she left a few of her League puppets behind to keep an eye on us. Or keep us busy. Both, probably. <laughs>